I've heard so many people with plans. Like they imagine this in their head. It's like, oh, one day, that, that, that word, right? One day. You can always find a reason not to do it. And you don't have to wait until you know it all. That like you're not gonna know it all. It's good to have you. Thank you so much. Good to be here. I'm excited. Well, we this are all excited. Fun. Guys, are you excited? Hey, 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 everyone. Hi. Actually, you heard it before. His story is crazy. The first question that I want to ask you, like, how did you find YouTube and where did you start? Well, I think I started uh, as everyone else, right? Like, as a fan. I was like, I spent for the longest time just watching videos, like growing, watching other content creators. And I spent like a lot of this time just enjoying it as a fan. And then one day I was like, okay, this looks fun. And I was like, maybe I can do this. It's like, I don't see it that impossible. Like it's, I can start with a, like a small camera. It's all about creativity. It's not so much about like, it was in, especially in those times, 2011, it wasn't so much about like having the best equipment. Like yes. I can start with my tiny little camera, you know, 720p, super tiny. And, uh, and I started to like imagine how I can do this. Before I actually recorded my first video, I spent this time being like, okay, I'm gonna anal analyze the people that I follow. How did they start it? Mm -hmm. How they evolved what they did and how they managed to, to make content that they can enjoy and a future audience can enjoy. So I just, I just started doing it and like video by video, I learned a new lesson. I felt like that was key to like understanding where I was gonna go. I, I focus on not to be caught up in like, how can I make the perfect video right now? Because mm -hmm. when you start, you, you start overthinking things, right? especially at the beginning, you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I want it to be like this. Like, especially if you follow another YouTuber, they already have been doing it for years, so your brain wants to go there, mm -hmm. right? Like, I wanna do it like this, I wanna work hard and get to this level. But I focus on like, Okay, put in a time frame. Like, I'm gonna do the best I can right now with the abilities I have right now, and just focusing on those three days to make a video and do the best I can. And then I put the first video, you know, I send it to my friends, I send it to a small community, I saw three comments, and I was like, yeah, three comments! You made it! I'm famous, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and then little by little, you know, I was like, some friends were like, that's, that's funny, that's it's good, so cool. like, it's, it's entertaining, like, you should do more. And I was like, all right, I might do this every week, you know? I'm gonna, I set myself a time. Like, mm -hmm. oh, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make a commitment with myself, because no one was watching, so it's a commitment to myself, be like, I'm gonna do every Saturday. And I started to, like, thinking about like during the week, I got excited. I was like, oh, I'm gonna talk about this. I used to talk a lot about like, I used to do comedy. Oh. So that meant like situational comedy, things that happen every day in your life. So I was with my phone like writing it down, you know, and be like, okay, Thursday I'm gonna write a script, but I need to have all the ideas that I see everywhere. So scripted. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, mm, I wait. love scripting. I, I, it's like, I just, I have my phone is full with like 300 videos and I don't know if I'll have an entire life to do them all but I just love like thinking of ideas and like seeing people in the street and that's a fun situation so I just I write it down and um, how many you went from every week one video to how many videos well I started with my first channel mm -hmm. uh, that one's called Hola Soy Germán it was all about comedy all about fast editing, fast talking, loud energy. I have a lot of energy. I'm containing myself here. I saw that backstage. To, to not, you have a lot of energy. I don't want to be <laughs> screaming, you know, but I have a lot of energy. I just love uh, sharing that. A even though if it is like comedy and like little things, you know, little funny things about life, I like sharing that with people. I feel like it's, it feels good to watch just a little break from like problematic life and just get the little... Like little thing there. Absolutely. Uh, that, that's what I love to see. That's also how I saw you. And you know what was so crazy to me is that you grew your first channel to 41 million and yeah. then just left it. I was like, yes, like, let's how do it again. crazy <laughs> are you? Why did you do that? Please tell us. It, it's like, I feel like I didn't ask anyone because obviously the right answer is like, don't leave a channel that gets 20 million views per video like every, every Nobody day. Nobody would do that, yeah. I actually was having a meeting, remember, with Warner Music, and I was like, we were talking about different things, talking about doing music, and I was like, yeah, that would be a good idea. And then I mentioned it, like, eh, you know, I might one day leave this channel. And the, one of the executives looked at me like, oh my God, like, why would you do that? You have like all these people that are waiting for you to do that. And I was, and I feel like the, 
the main reason, I have a lot of little reasons mm -hmm. uh, that I can be here for hours share, talking share about that it. With us, but, yeah. the, but the major reason, I think, it was like I just really wanted to try something different. Like, I love what I did. I did 40, 58 videos to get 41 million subscribers. F wait, you did 58 videos to 58 get to that videos. amount of. Yeah. Wow. 58 that's videos. That's impressive. Yeah. So it became this like big thing. Like I won the video. Like I love every single one of my videos. It's like, okay, but I want to try something different. I feel like I did my creativity. I put it all day in five, all there in five years. I did it with all my heart, with everything I could. And I was like, I think I did everything I could do. Like, I feel like my philosophy in this in this like career, whatever you want to call it, right? It's honesty. Yes. Like I feel like I did my first video with all the love and my last video with all the love. I didn't want it to feel like it was my job. Even though it is what I do, mm. I just didn't want to approach it like I have to make a video. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was just talking to myself and I was like, it's time to start new. What should I do? Change my channel. Like I don't want to start changing the way I do things there. So I was like, I'm going to start from scratch. Did you change your content, like the type of content that you were doing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How I started crazy. to do. I started to focus on gaming, mm -hmm. which is like I, st I went from like a five-minute video that took me two days to do, like a lot of editing, a lot of scripting, to me in front of a camera playing a game, and improvising, and nothing wow. scripted, just going for it. And I feel like that was a big challenge for me because I was a script. I was. I was. First of all, I was a writer before I was anything else. So I wanted that challenge. I wanted to not understand what I was doing again. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, a little part of me was like, maybe I got super lucky. I wanted to see ah, if you I wanted to challenge could yourself do it again. With this? A little really? bit. A little bit. Yeah. I love gaming. I was like, oh, man, if I could play games every day and just share it with people, what a life. that would be fun. <laughs> that would be the funnest thing in the world. And I started doing it. And uh, it, it, you would think that if you have a lot of people watching you here, all, the, all of them, they will move to the channel. They didn't. They didn't. It Were went you from scared? Were you like, what the heck is happening? Why are they not following? Not really. I, I tend not to take it so seriously. I know it's weird because I, I consider myself a professional because I, I take what I do, I take, I take it really seriously. Mm. But at the same time, I don't take myself too seriously. I always consider it a gift. Yes. So if I lose it, I just like, thank you for the years. Like, I, yes. I, don't, I don't stress out so much about it. So I saw it as a new opportunity to try this new thing. And I remember I went from 20 million for five years in every video to like posting my first video and like getting like, like 10,000 views, which still is a lot of people. But from but here still, to here... It's, it's a big change. Yeah. Oh, by the way, little of you know that just recently he turned to 49 million subscribers in his new challenge. That's crazy. So it worked. <laughs> mashallah. It worked. We here say mashallah to this. <laughs> and it started like that. It started with like 10,000. I was like, oh, man, maybe, maybe I, I suck at playing games. Yes. Maybe I'm not good. And, I, and I, I look at the video now, the first video, and I did suck. I wasn't good. And I feel like that's what I wanted to, I feel like my main mission in this world is to show people that, you know, when I was a kid, I was talented at track, you know, like running. Ah, well, mm -hmm. Yeah, like when I was a kid and something, but I didn't like it. But I, 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 I was like really fast for whatever reason. I was quote unquote born with talent for that, but I didn't like it. And for YouTube, I was always, I've always been an introvert, but I, I developed a skill in the comedy channel. And even though I wasn't born with that, I worked really hard and it became something that maybe an extrovert would do. Absolutely. That's so, what I wanted to ask you because you do this for so many years right mm. now. How do you keep yourself on the top? I just love it. I'm a, I'm a, I like, <laughs> it's that easy? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Like I generally, I go to bed, I just like, I get my food and start eating with my girlfriend, you know, and I just put a YouTube video and I just watch this, this uh, YouTuber, this other YouTuber. I think also I love newer generations. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for 14 years. I can be like, my way is better, whatever. And then, but I, I love TikTok. I love newer YouTubers. I love, I love just other approaches to what I already do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I can try that. You know? So I'm always like learning from people that grew up with me too. Like right now, it's really, it's really inspiring to see people that grew up watching my content 
and now they're doing super good. Like they're doing, they're streamers, they're doing fantastic. And I learned from them. And actually I had a conversation with one in, in Mexico. He's doing fantastic. He's like crazy good numbers. And I asked him like, oh, so how do you do it? Like, that's fun. Like, it sounds exciting. And he, I remember he looked at me like kind of shocked. And then he started to tell me. And then I saw he did a podcast somewhere else, like oh, some other day. Okay. And, he was, and he told that story from his point of view. And he said, oh, yeah, like we were having a conversation with Herman, you know, like this guy who started all basically in Latin America. And he, he was like asking me. And I was like, it's kind of rare that people are not curious. Like I learn every day. It doesn't matter how many subscribers my channel have. Everything I learned yesterday becomes obsolete tomorrow. Like this yes. is fast. It's so fa fast moving, it's, right? It's moving all the You're time. Right. Yes. And I'm and I love listening to people that love what they are doing and they know what they're doing. Yeah. So it's it's worth it. Doesn't matter how big you are in numbers or whatever. Like that's why it's, we it's, listen it's to you today. Yeah. Because we, we see that you love what you're doing. What what should be the biggest advice that somebody that wants to start off on YouTube be? I feel like, oh, there are so many tips, but I think the most important one, which is going to sound weird, but let me, let me clarify before my time runs out, <laughs> it's to do it. Like, I've heard so many people with plans. Like, they imagine this in their head. It's like, oh, one day, that, that, that word, right? One day. One day, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I want to do uh, travel vlogs, or I want to do gaming, or whatever kind of content. I want to do TikToks. I remember I was getting a haircut one day from a from this uh, girl, and she was like telling me, I was like, oh, what do you do? It's like, in your free time. She's like, oh, I, I want to start this channel where I teach people how to cut hair. Mm. And she was really passionate about the idea. She was like, it was fun to listen to her imagining what she could do. And I asked probably the most terrifying question ever. Why don't you do it? And she was like, oh, no, I, I did one, but then uh, I started to like, I don't know, maybe I need a better camera. Maybe, uh, I don't know. And she started to give a lot of... Excuses? They get, she started to give a lot of excuses? Like for not doing it? They're, they're, yeah. they're, I mean, excuses is such a harsh word. I think it's more like reasons, right? You can always find a reason not to do it. Mm, and true. you don't have to wait until you know it all. Like you're not going to know it all. Like your first video is going to suck. It's not going to be good. Like it just has to be good enough for you to be like, all right, I'll make a second one, and I guarantee that second video is going to be better than the first one, and it's going to continue on growing. Like, my first channel, I, it took me two years until I can do in front of the camera what I thought I was doing in my first video. Like, in my first video, in my head, I was doing, hey, guy, how's it going? I don't want to shout here. I'm like, hey, guys opening my arms, showing a lot of energy, yeah, standing up, wow. And I watch the video and I'm doing this. Hi, guys. Welcome to my video. Oh. Ooh, yeah. And, and it's, like, it's like, I look back at the video and it's like, I thought I was like full of energy, this charismatic guy, woo. And, and then I look at my video that I did three years later, two years later, and I'm like, I finally achieved what I had in my head. Mm -hmm. But if I waited those two years without doing all the process, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. Like you have to pay the dues, right? You have to do the first video. Maybe it's going to be a little cringy. Maybe it's going to be a little embarrassing. Someone's going to leave you a comment that says, just, you suck, you know? And, and just keep going, you know? Like the, the most important part is just doing it. Because if you don't do it, you're always going to wonder. And there's a lot of things that you can learn, like YouTube or internet in general is full of like people who want to teach you. Like you don't need to be an expert in cameras. You need to know the ISO, the, the zoom, and you're good. Like your color correction, whatever. Yeah. Like editing, you can edit in your phone. You can you can you can try new things. Like it's not so challenging. Like I, it's kind of weird that I say this, but I think once you do it, you're already like so much closer to your goal than a lot of millions of people because a lot of people are just Not overthinking it, it mm. or afraid of something like it's beautiful to be able to share something that you love or enjoy with one person three people if you ever get to share it with millions good for you but if you can do it with like three people it's, it's a gift and 
I think it's worth pursuing it. Thank you so much for these inspiring words. I think we can all take this advice, right, today? Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much.